Hey, it's David Meerman Scott. I'm sheltering in place here uh, in my office outside of Boston, Massachusetts. And, you know, recently I've spent a lot of time thinking about the whole sheltering in place thing and why it's important. Most of you know this, but it wasn't until a few weeks ago that I did. The whole virus, if it happens all at once, that bell-shaped curve is really compacted. And it means that all of our infrastructure, especially hospitals, have the potential to be overloaded, affecting people's health. But if we separate ourselves um, by sheltering in place, by not going out, then we have an opportunity to flatten out the curve of how people get sick, um, which puts less strain on our situation. So I'm doing that right now. I have a pretty sweet situation. I'm here in my office. Let me give you a little tour of it. Um, I've got a nice little spot over here that I can relax and look at nature. Um, I've got my um, music wall of fame over here, my stand-up desk, so I go up and down on a regular basis. Um, I'll be fine. My speaking gigs have been canceled or postponed over the next four months. I'm going to miss that. I'm going to miss the idea of getting on an airplane and going to meet really interesting people and being on a stage, which I absolutely love and I consider it my art. Uh, but that's a really minor thing compared to what so many other people are facing. In the speaking business, I feel especially um, sad for so many people who work to make people like me look good on a stage. The speakers bureaus, the stagehands, the AV, and, uh, AV people, um, the photographers, the caterers, the security people, everyone who works in the event business who are doing fabulous jobs for people like me um, who make us look good, those people are really suffering now because when events cancel, they don't have any work. Many of those people are freelancers. So as I'm thinking about my own situation, I want to continue to work with as many freelancers as I can in my business. Uh, this is not a time to reduce my reliance on the people who make me look good with videos, who make me look good with graphic design, who make me look good with editing my words. Um, so I will continue uh, to make use of those people. As you're thinking about your situation, the more you can hire freelancers, um, the better. Um, I think about the restaurant business. Um, I do a lot, go to a lot of restaurants uh, in a given year. Um, here in the Boston area, it's no longer possible at this point to go to restaurants and sit down or to go to bars and sit down. That's a challenge for all the people who work in the restaurant uh, industry. But we still have takeout. We still have delivery. So relying on takeout and delivery is something that's really important to help those restaurant um, workers who are in a difficult situation. In Boston, there's a number of charities that I'm supporting, really important as well. I think the Greater Boston Food Bank helps to put food on the table of people who are suffering and who are in need, um, as well as the Boston Resilience Fund. It's brand new as of this recording. Uh, it was just formed over the weekend. Um, and it's part of the city of Boston, and I've just donated some money to that. That's to help people who are hard hit um, by this crisis and uh, for whatever reason um, have difficulty um, feeding their families, difficulty providing care for their children. So important to support in your city, whatever the equivalent is here in the Boston area. It's the Greater Boston Food Bank and the Boston Resiliency Fund. You know, we've all got time on our hands um, while we're doing um, this work from home thing. Um, and it's an opportunity to perhaps to be thinking about maybe starting a podcast, maybe starting a video channel, maybe beginning that book you've been thinking about doing, uh, updating your LinkedIn profile, uh, working on your website. All of those things can be done from home. You can hire freelancers to help you to do that. Um, I know I'm going to be focused on looking at my whole um, social presence, my websites, I have multiple websites 
Uh, sometimes it's just so bu- I'm so busy that I don't have an opportunity to do that. The whole cobbler's um, children situation, cobbler's children don't have the shoes. And, you know, I write and speak about marketing and websites and social media and building fans. And in many cases, I sort of ignore my own work. So I'm going to give some thought to my own work. We're all in this together. The more we can help one another, the better. Um, I'm really looking forward to having life get back to a semblance of normality. Uh, I can't wait to get back on the speaking circuit. I can't wait to meet people like you in my speeches, at my presentations. Um, That'll take some time, but I'm very much looking forward for that to happen. In the meantime, let's do what we can to help one another. Let's support each other. Um, hire freelancers. Let's support each other. How you can donate to those in need. Let's support each other in this time uh, because all we've got is ourselves.